Okay, everyone, how are you all doing today? I'm so happy to be making a video for you today. I bet all of your teachers shared that this week we're learning all about shadows and what is a shadow. And to help us understand what a shadow is and the things that we can do with our shadows, we're going to read a book together. The title of this book is Whistle, Whistle for Willie. A whistle sounds like this. I don't whistle really well, but some people do. You can ask an adult at home, or you can even try yourself to whistle. As we read this book, I want us to think, hmm, what is a shadow, and what can I do with my shadow? What is a shadow, and what can I do with my shadow? So what do you notice in the cover? I also notice a boy and a dog. One of them must be named Willie. I wonder who it is. Let's find out together. Whistle for Willie. Oh, how Peter wished he could whistle. What's the boy's name? Peter. And what does Peter wish for? To whistle. Hmm, I wonder why. He saw a boy playing with his dog. Whenever the boy whistled, the dog ran straight to him. Peter tried and tried to whistle, but he couldn't. So instead, he began to turn himself around, around, and around he whirled. Faster and faster! Why does Peter want to whistle? Yeah, because he saw a boy that could whistle, and every time he whistled, his dog ran to him. So maybe he wants that with his pet. Can he whistle, though? No. When he stopped, everything turned down and up. And up and down and around and around. Peter saw his dog Willie coming. Quick as a wink, he hid in an empty, empty car in a line on the sidewalk. Wouldn't it be funny if I whistled, Peter thought. Willie would stop and look around to see who it was. Peter tried again to whistle. But he still couldn't, so Willie just walked on. We haven't learned about shadows yet, but let's keep listening. Peter got out of the carton and started home. On the way back, he took some color chalks out of his pocket and drew a long, long line. This looks like the long line he drew on his way home. Right up to his door, he stood there and tried to whistle again. He blew till his cheeks were tired, but nothing happened. You tried to whistle. <sighs> there, I did it a little bit. Sometimes it hurts your cheeks when you're trying for too long. So, with, uh, really, uh, Peter has been trying to whistle for some time now, and he hasn't been able to. How do you think he feels? I agree, he must feel sad, frustrated, because he wants to do something really badly, and he can't. He went into his house and put on his father's old hat to make himself feel more grown up. He looked into the mirror to practice whistling. Still, no whistle. When his mother saw what he was doing, Peter pretended that he was his father. He said, I've come home early today, dear. Is Peter here? Who is Peter pretending to be? His father, that's right. His mother answered, uh, why not? He's outside with Willie. Well, I'll go out and look for them, said Peter. First, he walked along a crack in the sidewalk. 
Then he tried to run away from his shadow. Hmm. He tried to run away from his shadow. Do you think he can run away from his shadow? Let's see. He jumped off his shadow, but when he landed, they were together again. He came to the corner where the carton was, and who should he see but Willie? So that dark spot you see on the ground is his shadow. Peter scrambled under the carton. He blew and he and blew and blew. Suddenly, out came real whistle. Willie stopped and looked around to see who it was. What just happened? Yes, Willie, Peter was able to whistle. And Willie is looking around to see who did that. Me, Peter shouted and stood up. Willie raised straight to him. Peter ran home to show his father and mother what he could do. They loved Peter's whistling, so did Willie. Peter's mother asked him and Willie to go on an errand to the grocery store. He whistled all the way there, and he whistled all the way home. The end. So now that we got to read this awesome book together, what was Will uh, Peter able to do with his shadow? He was able to jump and land right in his shadow. He was able to spin out and be with his shadow. So can your shadow leave you? No. And what color is your shadow? It's black on the ground. Yeah, it's really dark. So today I would like for you to maybe go outside when it's sunny or in a room with a light. Try to see your own shadow so you can see what it looks like. <laughs> Bye, K1.